Welcome y'all. This is about navigating potential pitfalls of raising your vibration. This is understanding the shift that takes place when you come into your higher being, your highest self. So a couple things to keep in mind. This way you won't get hung up. This way you won't be as frustrated. This way you'll have more of a smooth transition into your best self. So let's get going. Let's get rocking and rolling. Okay, so you've raised your frequency frequency and from your mediocrity frequency to your highest self, to your higher being, to your new self. You've been born again. And you everything feels great, right? Life just seems really great until you come to contact with the outside world with people around you who may or may not be on board with it. They may not recognize you. Now, some of them will. Some of them will actually be glad that you're on a higher vibration. It's almost like they've been waiting for you to come to your true self and they'll welcome it. So I'm not talking about those people. Those people are awesome. These are the people who they don't recognize you. They don't like you on your higher self and they're giving you resistance. So this is potential pitfall number one. If you react to them or try to explain to them, then what can happen is you'll get hung up on a rock. You're flowing down the mountain, you're in a stream, you're rafting, everything's going great, and then you run up on one of these people. Number one is try to refrain from teaching these folks too much. Uh, most likely, if you're dealing with somebody who's on a lower frequency and who's not interested in raising their vibration, they're fine right there. And they want you as your old self. They want you right here too. And when you act from your higher self, you're vibing high, you're feeling great, Maybe you're talking about the future. You're talking about new things happening. They don't like that. They see you as going beyond them. And what can happen sometimes is they have certain images, maybe in their past, of people who have risen, and they automatically put you in a category as maybe that person who's maybe full of themselves, maybe egotistical, and they don't like that. Maybe they see you now as the cool kid who makes fun of them, right? You don't know. There could be a lot of stuff going on in the subconscious that you're unaware of and you don't understand why they're reacting the way they are. So number one is don't try to teach them, don't try to explain to them, and unless they ask for it, don't try to provide any kind of guidance because they still won't see it, even if you do this. So in essence, have patience with all these people and don't try to rush through everything. If you, um, when, when the shift happens, you will have resistances and you have to wait until the new people come in. And if you're trying to push people around and stuff like that and teach them and try to raise them up, they may not want that. And you'll get back a lot of resistance if you do that. So just have patience. More than have patience with others, have patience in the process. Don't try to force it. Please, don't try to force it. Um, and then love them. Because you're not going to be able to give them truth unless they ask for it, they don't wanna know. They don't wanna know all the great things happening on your new vibration. So if you love them, though, they'll, they'll catch that glimmer. They'll catch that presence. That has the most capacity of actually helping them out. Um, you probably, as a chosen one, care deeply for them. You want to raise them up. You want to help them. You want to help them feel better. You want to inspire them. The best way to do that is through love. Uh, if you try to give a truth and that truth is existing up here, they simply cannot 
entertain that. It's there's a lot of cognitive dissonance that'll happen before they receive that truth. It's up to them to open up to the truth and to come to you more in a humble state rather than trying to crash in and wreck your party. And so the only thing they'll be able to receive is love. And sometimes that means being silent and just love without trying to teach. Okay. All right. And then the other thing is you got to understand that you're on this higher level. Maybe this is a new journey to you. Maybe this whole practice of raising your vibration is high, or maybe you've tried it before and you didn't have results. Well, you got to understand something. Your higher self is existing on a whole new spectrum, a higher spectrum. And there is a time gap in the physical world. This time gap means that because we live in a universe and specifically on earth that is in a higher density than the thought waves, this takes time to move the high density material around before the manifestations can happen. That means in between here where you're existing now and your manifestation, let's say it's right there, you're going to have time in between this. You're going to have this uh, gap. And this gap, you don't know exactly how long it's going to be. And so you've got to have patience with your manifestation. And notice, though, it is on the vibe. It's on the vibe. So it's not down here. It's not about going down and then up. It's on the vibe. You will have little ups and downs, and you'll have maybe some little dips, but it's on the vibe itself. You have to stay on the vibe and not lose faith. Remember, I've talked about in previous videos that faith is critical. You got to keep that faith. Keep it every day. Read your affirmations. Write your gratitude statements. Listen to your vision. Write your vision. You got to do it all and keep it going. Don't lose faith. This is critical. This, if you're not, if you don't have patience, you'll never get there. And sometimes it's that point where you just, you think, oh, I just can't do it anymore, and you still push through. Sometimes that's that last critical point, and then there's that breakthrough. And so you got to have patience. It's amazing what things can happen when you have patience. Okay, and then. This goes to the next point. Steadfastness is sort of like patience, but steadfastness is really putting on your new self every day. Even when you don't want to, steadfastness is being steady in your work. Um, when you keep walking on that path, it doesn't have to be a super fast pace. If you're going up a mountain and you start off at a run, and that's a tall mountain. I've climbed some of these mountains where if you start off at a run, you may get a mile and then you'll be burned out. And then you have a long way to go after that. And you don't know necessarily while you're on the trail, while you're on the trail, how long it's gonna be. You don't know how many switchbacks. Sometimes those switchbacks go on way longer than you anticipated. So steadfastness though is being steady it's being in peace. It's working in the rest, as it's referred to in the scripture. You want to be feeling good while you're doing it, but realize that the journey is part of it. And it's there for a reason. It's there to build your character. It's there for you to learn. It's there for you to gain things that you don't even see right now. So understand that this gap in here requires that steadfast attitude to keep putting in the prayer, putting in the work, um, learning new things, overcoming these pitfalls, and practicing, working on yourself. So steadfastness is real important. I'd say that's, even if you took everything else away, steadfastness will get you pretty far. But don't discount the vision. Don't discount having the goals. Don't discount any of the exercises. The steadfast is very important. Okay, the next one is 
really valuing your time. When you raise your frequency, your time to yourself, you will value more. Think about it like this. Let's say before you had so much free time in the day, maybe it was four hours. And during that four hours, you were vegging out, you were maybe watching videos that had no consequence in your life. Maybe you were uh, on your phone, messing around, whatever it is. Now that you've raised your frequency, you really start to see that life is made up of time. And within this time, you wanna create. You wanna work on that project. You wanna write if you're a writer. You wanna paint if you're a painter. You want to use that time as wisely as possible because you're creating a life of freedom for yourself. You're creating a life of abundance for yourself. So your time is more and more valuable the higher your frequency level. This is why some of these masters out there who've created amazing lives, they charge a lot of money per hour because their time is increasingly more and more value. They've accumulated a lot of knowledge, a lot of wisdom, and with a few of their words, they can take a person up very high. Maybe it's just one or two things they said, and it's just completely life-changing for you. So you gotta understand that when you start valuing your time, your personal initiative will increase. And that means making the most of that time gap in between your obligations and your sleep, your food, because there's certain things you can't control. You have to eat, you have to sleep. And if you're in a job right now that you hate, you gotta be there for the time being. And so what we're dealing with now is that free time where you can do whatever you want. And it's the person who makes the most of that free time that actually moves the needle in the right direction. So this is about maximizing that free time. We also need to understand that when you raise your frequency up here, there may be temptations and I've done a whole video on this, but I want to remind you, there may be temptations to drift into the ego. And if you take the bait, some of these people existing on this have known people in their lives, maybe who were successful, who did raise their vibration, but they were some of the people who actually went into a prideful state, and that's why they resent these people. And so when they see you in your higher self, they see you vibing high, they automatically attribute that to one of these people. And so use humility to keep yourself in check. This is a principle all through scripture. Don't ever stray from humility. No matter how high your vibration gets, keep being humble. Keep realizing that you're just a person. Just because you're raising your vibration doesn't mean you're on some favored, you're some favored person in God's sight, right? We're all flawed on some level. And so um, keep that in your back pocket. Keep your humility, keep your humanness there to keep yourself in check. And also it keeps you learning. So learning is essential on this path, you know, much of some of the time gap at least is learning things. It's getting into vibrational harmony with that manifestation. And it's just allowing everything to come together. And so when you're humble though, you're, you're open to that new information and you're open to new possibilities. A lot of people will raise their vibration and it's the opposite. They will start moving their consciousness into this and it's hard to be around these people anymore. They don't want to learn from everybody. They're know-it-alls. There's so many know-it-alls out there and it's like you can't even have a conversation with them because they just know it all. Now with that said, you need to understand too that if you do come up on a true master, someone who's 
who's put the work in, who's put the time in, who's maybe a coach or they're an entrepreneur, then give them that reverence. The people who've actually done the thing, you should be humble towards these people. You should be, well, you should be humble towards everybody, but definitely the people who've put in the work, you gotta give them reverence. You gotta give them respect. You gotta listen to them. Be a better listener than a talker. These people down here, that's much of their problem. They are so sure of how everything is that they don't listen to the people on the higher frequency. They simply are, have made up their mind what it is, they're unwilling to change, and they don't have proper humility. They don't have that proper respect. The people who are vibing at a higher level, you need to learn from them. You need to open up to them. At the same time though, don't go into the ego state because their I am may not be yours. And so even if you're learning from people, don't let that move your consciousness into the ego. Bring your consciousness to the I am and still learn. Okay, so humility real important because a lot of people, this is the major enemy, is pride. And again, we can relate this to biblical scripture when uh, Jesus was taken up the mountain by Satan and offered him all these great things, right? Very similar, raising, raising himself up and saying, oh, you can have all this, you just got to bow down to me. And this is not about worshiping mammon. It's not about putting money over people. It's not about being in some prideful state. This is literally raising your frequency, raising your vibration under God so you can live your true self. Never let this whole philosophy, or whatever you want to call it, replace God. God is there to guide us up and to raise us into higher levels. He, by His Word, by His mouth, is raising us up. And when we tap in to the higher frequency, often we can hear that better because we're just more open to it. When the Lord has done magnificent things to you, the tendency is to listen more. And so no matter how high you get in your vibration, never close your ears off from the Lord. Okay, y'all, so again, these are some pitfalls that can happen. These are suggestions to overcome these pitfalls. By doing this, you will prevent yourself from going back down into the lower frequency and from losing faith and from going into doubt. Very, very important. Understand what you're up against. Some of these people will not understand. It's not up to you necessarily to teach them unless they ask for it. And if you do find yourself explaining too much and trying to pull them up, this could be frustrating. So, so please have patience. Love them. By all means, whatever happens, just love them. Even if it's just being silent and just loving. Um, have patience with your manifestations. If you're on this vibe, this could be way down here and you don't even see it. There's a book called Three Feet from Gold. It's an important book, or not important, but it can be. And the person had this land and he was digging, 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 and finally just stopped because he dug so much he didn't find the gold. And then somebody else bought the land from him, finished digging, and three feet into it found a big line of gold. So this could be you and you don't understand that you are just so close right now from the big avalanche, from the big success, from the big explosion that just happens of greatness into your life. And so keep having that faith, keep your steadfastness. And then lastly, gotta value your time. Get up early in the morning. Value your time. Don't discount your free time. Especially if you're trying to break through right now, don't discount that time. And even when you do break through, the higher you raise that frequency, the more you'll value that time. Because you realize life is all about your time. And within that time, you can make the most of your life. Okay, y'all, appreciate your attention. Thank you for tuning in. Feel free to comment and May love be with you. May peace be with you. 
May God be with you. Thank you again.